Avogadro um, opens in Draw Settings. Uh, tool Settings should be highlighted as well. It works as a combination of this toolkit here, uh, along with these tabs along the top bar. It's set automatically for carbon, and I usually untick that. I'll explain why later on. So a left click just creates carbons. But left click and drag will create chains and cyclic <laughs> Oh dear. And cyclics. Um don't worry about that, we can sort that in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna have a pop at uh, making aspirin. And uh, some of these atoms will be carbons will be changed for oxygens. Some of the bonds will be doubled as well. And look at me walking and talking at the same time. Um, that's a double bond, and that will be a double bond. Changing those carbons for oxygen very easy. Left click, and I think it's that one. Yeah, so now for some, oh, um, all the usual suspects there for modifications, but all the way down the bottom you can access the periodic table. So this is a bit of magic now. This is an auto optimize It will uh, alter the bond angles and bond lengths um, to the lowest energy configuration. That's okay for small molecules, for proteins and larger molecules. I'll probably have a go at that one. And this is getting into molecular dynamics, which we don't have to worry about at the moment. So start. That's looking better already. Uh, it's important to select stop at this point, even though it's not doing anything, because if you were to start um, tinkering with this mod molecule, adding things, it's just going to keep going and quite frankly gives it a headache I think so it's important to select stop. I'm just going to remove those uh, extra okay that's better so um, selecting here will um, ma manipulate the molecule so right click will move it around wholesale left click will rotate and the middle, the scroll wheel will zoom in and out. Whoa. Okay, so that's playtime over. Um, let's do some measurements. There's two ways of doing this. Measuring tool there, very easy. I'm not sure if that's showing up on this screen, but it's showing a distance at the bottom here of 1.347 angstrom. Selecting a third atom will give a an angle 119.2. Right click clears those. Second way of doing it, view properties, let's look at angles. So looking for an oxygen carbon oxygen. There's one. 119.2 and it's highlighted here to confirm it's the, the same one. So that's rather good almost exactly the same. Um, it's possible to spin this molecule, selecting here, uh, left click and swipe. Um, this depends on the, the direction you swipe and the speed. Okay, so I'm going to stop that now. Um, you might want to make a copy of this if you were to start uh, modifying this, the structure and save the original temporarily. Uh, very easy. Edit, copy and, and file it, paste it in a new page. Very easy to do. Um, have a quick look at putting a, a surface on this as well. Uh, extensions. Actually most of these um, plugins don't work, they're not up and running yet. <laughs> um, create surfaces. Go for electrostatic EP, there we go. That looks
looks good. And there we go. That's interesting. So selecting view and properties. No, nope, wrong one. I should have gone to display settings. Um, so we're looking for surfaces. There it is. There's a little icon here which gives you some uh, adaptability uh, on the molecule. Okay, I quite like it about there somewhere. Um, there are other surfaces available there as well, the displays. And you can set for a blue for electronegative at the moment, which is fine by me. So close that down. So um, I'm going to have to uh, stop this now and move on to part two because I'm running out of uh, frame time.